You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by because today I'm going to check out Projects, the Projecting Game Arcade. And this is from NSI International, so I do need to say thanks to them for sending this to me for free to check out on video with you today. Now I have checked out all of their Laser X line of blasters. So now I'm gonna check out this new system they have. Blast moving targets projected on any light colored wall. No TV screen or sensors needed. Three different targets. I see the ducks on the front, but it also shows like a round disc and a spaceship type thing. Five built-in games and three skill levels. I always like to just give a quick look at the rest of the graphics on the box. Pretty much the same. So let's head, well, there's the bottom. I'll show you the bottom. That tells you it's from NSI. You see their logo there. And the back, that always gives you more pertinent information, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Duck, target, and UFO. Some type of spaceship. Solo, head-to-head, co-op action. You get two simulated laser blasters. And they are six shot capacity. This is the main effects and LED scoring display. And then it says three interchangeable image slides for different targets and sound effects. Target images are projected on any light colored wall. Well, who has the best light colored wall but me that I've been using for years in all of my videos. So when I come back, I will have this out of the box and we'll check it out. All right, here we go. Now I have been told since I got this, now I've had this for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh, that they've updated the instructions. So I have the updated ones off to the side. So we will verify all of that just to make the gameplay and setup easier. All right, there we go. Simple enough. I guess I could have done that off camera, but I didn't. There we go. Okay, so there's the blasters. Is there something on the bottom? Let's see. Okay, a little card. Gameplay. Oh, there's more on the bottom. What's there? It's a little red thing. Okay, little red thing. That is my images. Okay, maybe it slipped out. Oh yeah, there's the other one in here. Okay. So here is the instructions. And then like I said, I have updated one. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a quick comparison after I get this all out of here. Okay, so it looks like they are plugged in to the main base. The projector. I have a really good screen for this, and it's probably best to have screens that are totally flat or a wall that's totally flat with no other imperfections uh, for the best results. But we are here to learn, which is what I'm going to do. All right, there's my blasters, and here's my three screens. Ooh, can you see those? I'd be neat if I can just take a close up picture. Maybe I'll try that too off camera. All right, I'll be back. I'll show you this. And then I'll flip it and show you this because it says over, turn over. And there you go. So study that and then I will be right back after I check everything out and I'll set it up. All right, here we go. I have, uh, well, I'll show you what those look like. I took pictures off camera and I'll put those up so you can see the actual target and then the exploded target. Now this is the one that came with the system. You will see they made some changes. Now this is fours down here and five and six have moved into this position. So they flip-flopped them. So those are what you're supposed to use. Okay, just so you know. And then first things first, I always like to do batteries with you on camera, just in case I run into anything. Uh, you could see what I see and what I go through. Here we go. So Phillips screwdriver, it was three double A's. Let's see if one of those battery compartments it has to come all the way out or not. Yes, it does, so. Let me finish that. Long screw there. Oh, here they are. Okay, one this way, one this way, and one this way. Okay. Screw back in. So that is done. Now setting it up, I'll wait to do that, but I'll show you what they recommend, and I'm gonna follow that to a T. All right, so that's right here. As you see, five feet from the wall, 24 to 30 inches high. And then here are the three different targets, the coloring and the difficulty levels. 
Now put the blasters in the ports. Okay. So red on that side. At least that's why I'm going to do it. I see blue here and red here. Does it make a difference? I don't know, but I just like to follow the color coordination there. Okay, and then you have two storage areas. One there and one here. We will start with the white. Now the picture shows this facing you. So you gotta, so basically that's pointing out the little uh, connectors that are going out and it's almost like a little mini USB. If you try to put it that way or that way, no good. Put it this way, and it clips right in. Okay, so we are set. Let me, uh, oh, remember this. For single player games, only have one blaster plugged in. This is crucial. So I'm gonna take out the red now. Plug in one of the blasters into the blaster port as shown. You can either, either, you can use either port, so you don't have to be color coordinated like I was. And then only one blaster in. Plug in the second blaster for two player games only. Blaster, blaster, okay. We are set, so let me get it all situated, come back, and we will give it a whirl. All right, I am back. I'm five feet from the wall. I put it on this, uh, actually, laptop cart. Brought it back five feet, used the tape measure, have it exactly where I want it. I am using my camera uh, light here to give me a little bit of light. I'm going to turn it on now so you can see how cool this is. Ooh, look at the way it's doing that. That's pretty neat. So all around the base, is this glowing light which is reaching everything in my area here now I could turn it off by holding that red button but I will need to get my camera light back on because what happens is the camera has a hard time focusing so here we go off now what's happening too is the top I'll show you that with the light on so I'm turning it on now and the actual lens part moves up in the position and against my wall so all right so now one more time i'll do that now facing the wall so you can see what it's projecting okay i am back i'm cycling through the games by the way that's not 95 that's game five there's game one game two game three game four game five the blue button here is level one level two and level three let's go back to level one now i have put back in the Blue uh, game uh, target, that is the regular target. The other two are in their uh, storage areas, and I have the blue blaster. Now to start that, I'm gonna pull back. Now I am set. So it will automatically begin. Okay, the camera, not much I can do about the fuzziness with the moving target in the dark. Oh, got to reload. Doing okay. Oh, reload. Don't forget the reload. Okay, so that is that. So now let me reset this here. Okay, I'm turning it off to reset it. Going back on, we'll go game two. Well, let's do this. Let's go game one, level three, so you can kind of get an idea what the difference is. So pull back. Your blasters light up real nice, the blue. And the red one lights up red. Here we go. I believe 
You can reload it any time. Now, I missed that one because I was testing. Oh, now I'm messing up. Okay, so I got six on that one. All right, so let's try game two, level three. Okay, it looks like it keeps the level that you're on, and you can just reset it. Here we go. Come on, that's me moving my blaster. Where is it at? Where? Ooh, moving target. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got it. Oh, reload. Got it. Yes, you can reload anytime. So basically, I'm just going to keep reloading so that... Ah, uh, all right. So let's try... Uh, oh, game three. That's what I need to be on. Level three. Here we go. Ooh, that one disappeared. Ooh, behind the camera. Oh, no, I was behind the camera. Got it. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's go to game four. And here we go. Come on, camera. Focus. You could do it. Doesn't want to focus, sorry. Looks like it's just dropping from the top. Yeah, I know. It's doing one at a time. So that one's pretty hard at that level. All right, let's try the next one here. It's not wanting to advance. Go to five. So we're still on level three. Here we go. Whew. Got it. Got a little more time on that one to get, ooh, nice, fast. Quick draw, Dave. Okay. Ooh, almost missed that one. You're off screen. Sorry, everybody. It's down a little lower. Okay, that was it anyway. All right, let me switch cards and try the next level, which I believe is the UFO. So let's put that one in. Okay, just so you know, it turns off without the card in, so you need that in there to get light. So I have a flashlight handy. Here we go. Ooh, look at that, the UFO. All right, so let me just do, I can, I'm not going to do all the games for you this time. So let me do that last game since that seems to be my best one. And let me just keep it on level three. And here we go. Now we'll see what the UFOs do and how it sounds. Whoa. We're here. Got it. one there okay so let's try the next one this would be the ducks let's try the ducks 
Remember, now you lose the light when you do that, so you kind of have to feel around or have another light. There you go. There's the duck. All right, here we go, duck. It's me and you. Oh, yeah, really? You're going to whack, whack, whack me, huh? Whack. Ooh, I missed them twice. They did say it was harder, smaller. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. All right, let's do that one again. Where are you? Where are you? Missed. Come on, buddy. Quack. He goes like, quack. <laughs> I like the sound. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me plug in the red one now. So we have two. Okay, so that's plugged in. Same game. Now to do them, you got to start that one and start that one. Okay, so that's what they look like all lit up. And now you see the scoring there. Okay, who gets the duck? Who gets the duck? Nobody gets the duck. Red. Gotta reload red. Missed. Oh, missed again. Oh. Okay, I'm struggling with... Oh, there we go. So you don't want to really rapid fire without making sure you can... Little late there. Little late to the game. <laughs> Looks like Red has two, doesn't it? Okay. So Red wins that one. All right, I think I've tried all the games. I've tried, shown you all the different levels. Let me come back and kind of give you a quick wrap up here and show you what I did to get to work the best way for my situation. I'll be right back. All right, there you go. Lots of fun. Uh, worked great for me. There is some adjusting you do need to do. Remember, you're, it's a level here. Do need to go do. You do need to do. Here's your levels. Here's your power and uh, game adjuster there and you can adjust the focus slightly with these here by twisting them they kind of give you a little instructions you get a little different variance on that I didn't really play with it too much uh, but it was in focus when I was playing the game storage oh and your blasters store right here on the side so that is the way you store it remember just turn it on and to activate them you have to pull back like that and that starts the game so I probably shouldn't have done that now that I'm talking and then uh, oh yeah here's another thing uh, I had to move it actually closer than what they originally recommended uh, because depending on how high you have it off the ground and the distance to the wall it may project on the ceiling a little bit so you move it a little closer and that's gonna keep it within the range of your ceiling so you can make those adjustments like I did and it worked great. I mean, even at this close range, it will still project, but they'll be really tiny. You want to see the little tiny ducks? It's definitely much more of a challenge. Let me turn off the lights. All right, let me bring the camera back. Now look at that tiny little duck. It's so small. Now it'll still register even at this small distance. Let's see. Now the head is actually here. I'll show you down here. Let me let this refocus here as it's moving around. So this whole front section here is moving. Hey, let me do this. See it? It's projecting and moving up and down and around. So the duck is probably about an inch and a half. Big. And let's see if you can still target them. Here, let me bring it even closer. There, look at the tiniest of ducks. 
Ooh, look at that. So if you really want a challenge, ooh, look at a tiny duck. Blue is winning. Okay, so I think I covered most of it. Let me finish it up here. I'll turn the light back on. Ooh, look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, now you can see it moving really good. It is in focus. I'll let it do that for a second. Okay, lights back on. Camera does take a second to adjust. So there you go. If you do have any questions, let me know in those comments. Got a nice storage area here. Keep everything moving around in different rooms in the house. Really simple. And that's it. That's how you turn it off. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun showing uh, this set to you. Don't forget, that's the reload. Just pull that back every time you want to reload. It's really simple and fun to play. Projects. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.